In the last two videos, we talked about the situation and the task. I'm now going to talk about the actions. So if you haven't watched those videos yet, go back and have a look at those two videos so that it sets up the theme for what I'm going to talk about now. So the actions I took <coughs> were that I identified the key institutions, the international institutions that were involved in decision making uh, and involved in the supporting of the Kosovo rule of law structures in their capacity building. I identified some of the ones that had got different views to us and some of the ones that had got the same views. And I also engaged with the key people at senior positions who were uh, very influential with their heads of mission. And I engaged with the people who were the real doers, who really understood the nuts and bolts of everything, how everything interwove. I then identified how to get some of those people working together. I started off by having cups of coffee uh, conversations, uh, then the occasional lunch, uh, some informal meetings, some formal meetings. And then I brought them all together so that we could discuss topics together. Uh, and I identified probably about four of those individuals that were really influential within the group and within their heads of mission. This quorum of myself and four others started to really work closely together and influence the wider debate of everybody else, whilst also capturing the information of everybody else because we were conscious of the fact that because we were the doers, we could be blindsided because we could be really focused on something and miss something important that somebody else had to say. So we made sure we captured all of the relevant information and we were able to then focus on single messaging uh, through to the organisations that we had responsibility for. That's the action. Now, in the next video, I'm going to go on to the result. And the following video, I'll go on to the learning. See you in the next video.